Hello, I am Helen Johnson. And I'm Gianna Torkelson. We work for you to have a great vacation. One of the best spots to visit is the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. And today, we're going to tell you why. With us today, we have a meteorologist, a geographer, a botanist, and a zoologist to tell you all about the great reasons why you should visit the Great Barrier Reef. Hello, I'm the botanist, and I'm here today to tell you about the plant in the coral reef, specifically coral as you might have guessed. Um, a coral leaf consists of many individual coral polyps. The polyps join together and live in the shell of an aragonite, forming what we think of as coral. So a coral leaf is actually made up of millions of tiny little polyps because there are more than 3,000 reefs in the Great Barrier Reef. That's a lot. The coral's vibrant colors come from algae, so they're not actually originally colored that way. When a coral dies, it becomes white. When you visit the Great Barrier Reef, make sure you don't walk on the coral, which seems a little kind of a weird thing to ask, but this could actually hurt or even kill the coral. Please be careful. Hello, I am going to be your meteorologist today, and I hope that when you travel to Australia, you get the chance to travel in Queensland. Queensland has four seasons, just like everywhere else in the world. But Queensland can be separated into two main seasons, the wet season and the dry season. The wet season is November through April, and the dry season is May through October. The hottest three months are December, January, and February, and those are also the wettest three months. And the coldest three months and the driest three months are June, July, and August. If you like hot and sunny, go during October through March. And the average temperatures for October through March um, are 17 degrees as the minimum, the high is 30, and then for November, the minimum is 20, and the high is 31, and for December, the minimum is 21, and the high is 31, and for January, the menu minimum is 22, and the high is 32. The minimum in February is 22, and the high is also 22, and that's for March, too, except it stays around the 21 degrees. Now, you might think that these are low temperatures. Well, they're not really low. These are just recorded in Celsius instead of Fahrenheit. Hello, I'm the zoologist, and I'm here today to talk to you about the animals in the Great Barrier Reef. In the Great Barrier Reef, there are more than 1,500 species of fish, 4,000 types of mollusk, more than 200 species of bird life, more than 14 species of sea snakes, and um, more than 2 million people visit there every year. With the proceeds from these tourists coming to Great Barrier Reef, um, animals such as whales, turtles, dolphin, and dugong are helped to be protected there. Um, some of the many species of fish in the Great Barrier Reef include the anemone fish, butterfly fish, the coral trout. Some of the mollusks include clams, oysters, squid, octopus, cuttlefish, and snails. Hello, I'm the meteorologist back for more. Um, when going during the humid season, you should wear light, airy clothes, and going during the dry season, you should wear normal short sleeves and shorts. Also, if you are exploring the Great Barrier Reef, please wear biodegradable sunscreen. I have explored the Great Barrier Reef a many a time, and I think that the best place to see and view the Great Barrier Reef is in Queensland. And when you're in Queensland, you can also hike, and there are restaurants that locals know about. And in the description, you can go to one of those websites to find out where. Anyways, you should be able to go scuba diving and snorkeling. And if you're a photographer, shoot pictures in the Great Barrier Reef. Some fun facts about Australia and the Great Barrier Reef are that the Great Barrier Reef is roughly the size of 70 million football fields. Um, the Great Barrier Reef can be seen from space. Also, 
it is the second longest reef in the world. Australia is a natural quarantine zone, meaning that diseases and certain pests, such as the papaya fly, will not be a problem to it, even though it is a big problem to other areas. Also, Aus the Great Barrier Reef is roughly the size of Norway or Germany. Before I forget, an adaptation for an animal from the Great Barrier Reef would be the anemone fish adapting so that it can swim through the anemone without getting hurt.